Shalom Abracha, we beg to wish you well and I pray to Hashem to give you happiness, health. My friend, I would like just to try to, ex to explain you, maybe you can understand all together, the story of Korah. All of you, you know, Korah. Korah, he was a man, he was rich, he was a prophet, he was very well known, he was loved by everybody. He was an old man. I don't understand what happened to him to fight Moshe Rabbeinu. I don't understand. You know why he fighting Moshe Rabbeinu? Because he wanted to be Kohen Gadol. He had an argument. He told Moshe, why? Why? You are a prophet. You are the leader. Your brother is the He's a big priest, his children are Quranian. Why I'm not in the line? And uh, besides this, I see that my grandson, Shmuel, the prophet Shmuel, he will be equal like Moshe and Aaron. That means I can be more than you, both of you. I can be more than you. So why I'm not in a good line? Why? Why I don't have a, 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 a title here, this big Jewish community here in the desert? I mean, you know, my friend, the titles, it's Hashem who give. It's Hashem who give kavod. If Hashem wants you to be rich, you'll be rich. If Hashem wants you to be poor, you'll be poor. If Hashem wants you to be healthy, you'll be healthy. Everything comes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So what a big deal. What, what, I don't understand Korah. Why Korah? He wanted. He, he, Baruch Hashem. Did you ask yourself, Korah, why you are rich? You are a billionaire. Did you ask why you are rich? No. So why you, why you, you want other things? Why you, My friend, you have to know one thing. You have to learn to be satisfied. When you are not satisfied, we, even if you want more, you will want. More again and more. Life you have to be satisfied. Whatever Hashem gives you, say thank you to Hashem. Don't ask more. Ask him more, you will get less. Maybe you will lose everything. I mean, this week somebody came to see me. Baruch Hashem, he was looking for a, a nice house. He found a nice house. Once he, he, he bought it, he saw another house that she was, uh, it was for sale. So he told me, Rabbi, why Hashem, why Hashem he didn't help me to buy, uh, to hold another few weeks to buy this, new, this house that is, she's now in, in, on sale, uh, she's more, better than the one that I bought. I told him, are you crazy? You, you, you behave like Korah. Say thank you to Hashem that you got a house, that you have the money, these people that had no money. Are you crazy? Why you talk like that? Now that Hashem helped you to buy the house that you needed and you bought it, now you saw another one. Why are you jealous? Why are you... Why are you uh, I mean, you, have, you don't have a karatatov. Say thank you to Hashem. Instead of complaining, my friend, never complain. What we learned from Korah, that he was not satisfied. He was jealous. When you, have, when you are not satisfied, when you are jealous, you may lose everything. God, God forbid. I shall bless you and give you bracha v'etzlaha. Amen. Amen.